Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can get an overview of all the PO invoice that you have. The transaction code is MIR6. So when I go to MIR6 and here you can see all the processors and all those things, I'll just put star and here probably I'll just put star just to make sure. And I, I think you can put dates also. So I can just see uh, what are the different invoices that we have. So we'll just see background, whether we have anything. We don't have anything here. So let me see, verify invoice verification. We can see the cancellation and we'll just execute. Let's see, we don't have anything here. So let me make it like this, company code star. And now you'll get a lot of stuff. So here you can see all these invoices that you can think. So if you click on this, if I double click, it has the hotspot that will take you to that invoice. So it's very, very useful. And here you can see there are stuffs that can be done. These are aggregation. So you can see uh, we can do it based on this delivery note, material number. You can do purchase order aggregation okay so if i click on aggregation by purchase order so it will take me here i don't know what what this basically did so if we took the purchase order so let's see did it do anything because mm -hmm. it has a drop down that is very different configurable material so if i do plant aggregation type is plant so it will take me to this so it basically is not doing nothing it's just calling this but here you can see the invoicing party which is the vendor number okay uh, then you have the name of the invoice name of the vendor the amount and all those things so you have posted and now if you want you can go and you can say Oh, the ones show me all the ones that are parked okay so if i click on parked and i'll say invoicing plan and all those things let me see whether there's anything parked there's nothing parked in this in this thing okay so let, we can say whether there's anything ers okay probably there is some ers so how will you know if something is ers so if i double click on the purchase uh on the vendor on the invoice sorry and now if i if i click on the purchase order okay and here you will see there's a flag called ers evaluated receipt so i think if i go to invoices invoices here you see evaluated receipt and if i click on f1 on it suppose i click f1 and here you can see specifies there's this if you wish to settle up so is to be possible so invoicing plan by default needs to be ers and whenever this this is set that means whenever they post the gr the the ir will be posted automatically okay so this is very very important for uh, ers type of vendors okay um, so that means there is no touch from the ap side okay so these are some of the things that you can do also you can see that there are some errors restriction posted you know park is complete you just name it the only thing I think here is everything is related with PO invoices. It's nothing with non PO. Okay. So that's very important. And then you have invoices posted in SRM and all those things. So it's this this transaction code is pretty useful and should be used by most of the AP folks uh, for reference and for audit purpose and all those things. Okay. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning and have a great day.